Competitive football is finally back. What a great way to kick the season off than enjoying the prestigious exclusive M108 only contested by the top eight teams in the country. My name is Benedict Nguenya from Soccer Betting News. And I'm Jesse Nagel from Soccer Betting News and we're both looking forward to previewing the quarterfinals of the M108 knockout. On Friday night, Bid vs. Vets do battle with um, Lamontville Golden Arrows. And what do you think? Vets are the defending champions. Well, if you look at it, it's first versus eighth. So mm -hmm. it's the top team versus the lowest ranked team. I'm expecting Bidvest Vets to wipe the floor with them, especially with the new addition of Steven Pinot, Dalen Clausen. What's your take on it? Yeah, I think Bidvest Vets are the favourites and they're going to absolutely smash Golden Arrows. I'd put my money on Vets to win that one. And on Saturday, the first match is between Cape Town City and Pologani City. What do you reckon? Well, I actually don't know what to expect from Penny McCarthy. Mm. Uh, you know, this is his first match as a senior manager, as a first team manager. So I'm not, I'm not too sure what to expect. He did say in a recent interview that we're expecting something much more different than what we saw with Eric Tinkler. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not too sure. He's made some new additions. Yeah, he's but also acquired the services of Deco Modise from Mamelo de Sundowns. He's also signed uh, Ayanda Patosi, yeah. Bafana Bafana midfielder. And uh, Obring Goma is out injured. And it, uh, there's talk, you know, surrounding him. That's what I'm worried about. His head may be turned mm -hmm. and... I'm not so sure if it'll get the best out of the, the players because when he's on form, mm -hmm. you know what the team is capable of. Mm. And who, who's taking it? I think Cape Town City to edge it. It won't be so straightforward like the Bedwes Fitz fixture, but I think they will edge it. Yeah, I, I say both teams to score and Cape Town City to win that one. Mm. And uh, the other match taking place on Sunday, the Kaiser Chiefs. Ones. Yeah, yeah up against Super Sport United, also known as Kaiser Chiefs, the legacy. Uh, <laughs> due to some of their Chiefs former players, you know, yeah. playing their trade now for the Tsuane based uh, outfit. Uh, what's going to happen there? Well, we saw the Payas and Parker combination work so well in the Colin Black Label Champions mm -hmm. Cup. But, uh, I don't know, Chiefs, they blow hot and cold. We saw the last season. They were just up and down. And Steve Compiller, I'm not too sure if he's the right man for the job. He's been there two years now and mm -hmm. won absolutely nothing. Your take on it? Uh, their preseason suggests they're actually ready for the season to get underway. I mean, they won the Maze Cup, they won the Culling Black Level Cup, uh, but they lost uh, against Chipper United. So it's a very tricky one. And Eric Tinkler, it's his first match in charge as well. Yeah, I'm not United. too sure what to expect. You know, with the mm -hmm. experienced players, will they work under his system? Uh, you know, he's coming into a new team with his own philosophy. I'm not too sure if he'll get the team. Buzzing immediately, but... Mm. But he's always had a winning com uh, formula yeah. against Steve Compella from his days at Orlando Pirates yeah, and at exactly. Cape Town City. So I'm expecting Super Sport United to win that one. I Jason? think I'm going to go with Kaiser Chiefs just to edge it. Just like the Cape Town City fixture. Uh, I think uh, at Moses Mapid, although Super Sports have been playing recently at the stadium, mm -hmm. I think Cape Town, uh, Kaiser Chiefs, Chiefs, sorry, will just nick it. Mamela de Sundowns against Marisbeck United. Uh, African does that, champions. Yeah, yeah. African cha does, that not, uh, does that one not pick itself? Well, Maddotsburg mm -hmm. lost uh, Kurt Lenkis mm -hmm. and they've signed Sianda Kulu. Mm -hmm. That's more or less they've sold in the front and strengthened at the back. Yeah. It looks like Fadler Davids, now that he's permanent manager, is he going with the park the bus sort of tactic or what, what's your take on Yeah, that's what Pizzo said. He said he knows exactly what to expect against Mamelo uh, Marisbeck United. They packed the bus. I remember they held him twice um, yeah. last season. Too. Especially in that crucial game. Towards Jeez, the, end of the, season. the, yeah. the, the 2-2 draw which handed the Pitvers Vets the league title. So it's going to be very exciting, but Santos are going to win that one. Yeah, they should have too much uh, class mm -hmm. for them, I think. Let's look at the special prizes now for El Clasico, proudly brought to you by Hollywood Bets. Uh, who's your money on? I'm looking for... Tons of value in this one. I'm playing mm -hmm. at 14 to 1. I'm looking at Barcelona to win 3 1. I'm looking at both Messi and Ronaldo to score anytime at 7 to 2. This week's edition of Soccer Betting News is available for only 10 rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch.